Hi. Have you ever left a doctor's office with more questions than answers? You leave with a piece of paper with lots of numbers and words that you don't understand. Sound familiar? Instead of feeling reassured, you leave frustrated or even a bit anxious. I totally get it. I have been there. Well, ChatGPT can change that. In this video, I'll show you how to use it to turn confusing medical jargon into plain English. So you finally feel in control. Ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to Smart Tech for Any Age. In this video, I will show you three powerful ways to use chat GPT with your health information. One, we're going to use it to translate those confusing doctor's notes into plain English so that you understand what is happening. Two, we're going to simplify test results. We're going to take those numbers, put in the chat GPT, and figure out exactly what it means for you and where you're at with those numbers today. And three, we're going to take that information from the first two things and prepare intelligent questions to ask the medical professional the next time you see them so that you feel in control and know what is going on with your health. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer. I am not a doctor. The contents of this video is purely informational. It is not meant to be medical advice. Please consult your medical professionals. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, here's the problem. Most doctors are busy. Appointments are short. They might be thinking a few patients ahead already. And those handouts are written in medical jargon that I don't understand. They're like Greek or Latin to me. Oh wait, they might actually be Latin. That leaves many seniors like you and I feeling stressed, confused, and out of control. This is where ChatGPT comes in. It's like having a friendly medical translator right in your pocket. We're going to go through a demo of a single medical situation. And I'll show you taking some test results and doctor's notes. And we use ChatGPT to simplify everything so it all makes sense. Let's start with a hypothetical situation of a person after a medical visit with a doctor. Here's a sample of a doctor's note that was given to this person. Patient presents with hypertension, elevated LDLs, and recommended statin therapy. That's not exactly very clear, right? Now watch what happens when I paste this exact diagnosis in a ChatGPT, followed by a quick little sentence. We paste it in. Patient presents with hypertension, elevated LDL, and recommended statin therapy, and explained this in plain English for 70 euro. Let's see what happens. In just moments, with a very clear three, four paragraph explanation of what that actually means. So we've been told that with high blood pressure, which is hypertension, high cholesterol, namely the bad ones. And so it puts a strain in your heart and your blood vessels. And the doctor will recommend something called statin and it tells you what it is. And it put simply, it gives you bullet points on what those three things are with some recommendations and next steps. Now let's say even this is a little confusing. We can try a prompt like this. Simplify even more. Let's see if we can make this even more clear. Now it tells us exactly what's going on in one sentence. High blood pressure, high back cholesterol, can clog your arteries, and it explains what that medicine is and keeps the arteries clear and heart safer. It's not a cure. And add protection along with healthy habits. Simple, everyday English. Suddenly, 
it all makes sense. Hi, are you interested in a simple, downloadable, and free PDF file that teaches you how to go from a beginning chat GPT user to semi-pro? Well, I made one for you, and you get it now, right now, by clicking the very top link below. It's called ChatGPT Guide for Seniors, explained in plain English. Grab it right now, all for free. Now let's get back to learning. Okay, here's another example. So after we have our initial diagnosis, we're given a lab report for that diagnosis. Let's see what it says. LDL 180, HDL 40, triglycerides 200. Now that is a mouthful. Let's figure out exactly what that means for us in simple terms. You will take that information and put this into ChatGPT and at the end of it, tell it to simplify for you. I'll show you. This part is the lab reports. Explain these results like I'm 70 in everyday language. Let's see what happens. Here is the explanation of what those numbers mean. These numbers are kind of like a, a report card, okay, for the fats in your blood. And it proceeds to tell you what LDL means. That actually is a bad cholesterol, and 180 is a tad high. And kind of explains what it is. And proceeds to do the same thing with HDL, which is the good cholesterol. And triglycerides is the third thing. It's actually a type of fat in your blood. And 200 is, as, is at the upper limit of normal. It gives you a bottom line, which in this case is not ideal, and it recommends what to do. And it gives you a next step to ask your doctor about any changes lifestyle-wise and whether any meds might fit this situation. Now with this, it's clear, actionable, and way less scary. So what do we do now? We have some more information. It's been explained to us in plain English. We might have some questions, but we don't know exactly what to ask to get a more clarity on the situation. Now you can try this prompt directly after what we just talked about with ChatGPT, because this AI remembers the context of our current conversation. All you gotta do is try a prompt like this. Turn these test results into five questions that I should ask my doctor. Okay, this is fantastic. It gives me five very detailed questions that pertains to what we're going through. What kind of lifestyle changes can lower my cholesterol? Is medication the only option? How often should I retest to see my current levels? Are there any side effects to watch for? And should I see a specialist? These are intelligent questions that will start in an in-depth conversation with your doctor to give you more clarity and to take charge to get yourself or this person better. It recommends you write these down and take the next appointment with you and keep a copy of the lab report handy to make the conversation more concrete. Now you can walk into your next appointment confident and prepared. Okay, let's now talk about medication, meds. Have you ever read a medication label and it looks like a foreign language? I sure have. The good thing is chat GPT can help with that too. Let's take a look at this example. I simply type in the instructions that's on my bottle, which in this case is take 10 MG statin QD, huh? <laughs> with evening meal and just say, explain this clearly. And the answer is actually very simple. It means take one 10 milligram tablet of this medication once a day, and always with dinner time. 
and it breaks down what each part of this instructions mean. QD, I'm not even going to bother butchering this Latin, but it means once daily. I did not know that. And it kind of explains why evening works for statins. It's because your liver makes more cholesterol while you sleep. Taking away food also reduces stomach upset. Perfect. Now I know why. Understanding why you should be doing something like taking meds empowers you to take more control of your own health. It's a wonderful feeling. Now you know exactly what it means. There's no more guessing. Okay, here are a handful of everyday prompts that you can use after visiting a doctor. Explain my diagnosis in plain English. Include what the doctor gave you and ChatGPT will tell you that in a very simple language. Summarize this medical article for a senior. If you run across an article, you can copy and paste it in the ChatGPT and ask it to summarize it for you. Turn my doctor's notes into a simple checklist. If a doctor gave you some step-by-step -step instructions, but is somewhat convoluted and confusing, use this one. It'll make it into an easy, motivating checklist. Okay, as always, when you talk about personal information, like medical, you got to be just a little more careful. Don't put any personal information, like your full name, address, or medical ID number into ChatGPT. You should retype those notes in your own words instead. Make it more generic and not specific to you. And remember, ChatGPT is a support tool, not a doctor. Always consult your medical professional. All right, so now you have seen how ChatGPT can help you translate, simplify, and prepare for your doctor's visit. So the next time you walk in there, you'll be prepared and confident. If you find today's information useful, I made for you a free downloadable PDF guide, which includes this and much more. It walks you through the basic step-by-steps and includes copy and paste prompts you can use today. You can grab it right now. It'll be in the first link in the description below. 100% free. I hope you enjoy the information today. Please click on the like button and the subscribe button. That really helps tiny new channels like this one grow. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks you might also enjoy. So check them out. I appreciate you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.